The Atlantic salmon is an endangered species under threat from overfishing, pollution, and loss of habitat. Peter Gray stated, the biggest problem salmon have is us, directly or indirectly. What can we do about this? How can we bring back the king of fish to New England waterways? A fish that brought sportsmen and women to down east Maine and was a recreational and economic boom, now needs help to recover from the brink of extinction. The Down East Salmon Federation aims to conserve the wild Atlantic salmon and other river fisheries, to restore the recreational sports fishery, and protect the habitat that is home to these storied fish and so many other creatures. Originally, the Federation focused on the Narraguegas, Pleasant, Machias, East Machias, Denny's and Tunk River watersheds. The long-term goal of the Down East Salmon Federation is to improve the ecology and economy of this region, extending to all watersheds east of the Penobscot River to the Canadian border. It does so through its work at the Wild Salmon Resource Center and the Pleasant River Fish Hatchery in Columbia Falls. This is the home base of operations located in a defunct hydro powerhouse. Down East Salmon Federation has operated this facility since 1990 and has reared up to 150,000 salmon fry a year for stocking in the Pleasant River. In 2007, the Down East Salmon Federation began development of the East Machias Aquatic Research Center. This restoration center and laboratory includes a conservation hatchery in a building donated by Bangor Hydroelectric Company in East Machias, Maine. Up to 400,000 Atlantic salmon par from this hatchery will enter the East Machias River each year. This facility will soon include a classroom, outreach center, water quality laboratory, technical resource center, and office space for staff, partnering organizations, and visiting researchers. East Machias Aquatic Research Center is rapidly becoming a conservation hub in one of the most fisheries dependent regions in the United States, where the rivers of eastern Maine hold the last best hope to see recovery of Atlantic salmon in the U.S. Through generous grants and donations, the center has also installed a 6,000 watt solar system and a 1,200 watt vertical wind turbine. It has also made major renovations and installed hatchery and research equipment. Funding has come from the Maine Public Utilities Commission, the Maine Riverfront Community Development Board, the USDA, the State of Maine Contingency Fund, and many, many grants from non-governmental institutions in combination with thousands of local donations from Down East Salmon Federation members. The PAR project at East Machias Aquatic Research Center was designed by Peter Gray and modeled after the Kildare Hatchery on the River Tyne in England. Peter Gray managed that hatchery for many years and it is Peter's methods which are credited with restoring salmon to that river. Now, one of the biggest fisheries success stories in Europe. Gray said, we did the damage, but now we have the facilities and the knowledge to repair that damage. So let's get it done. This five-year partnership emphasizes the release of very wild and natural salmon par rather than fry into the rivers and streams. On the River Tyne, par raised with these methods were shown to be better able to avoid predators due to their larger size, fitness, and other wild traits. The Salmon Fund and Salmon Federation have long supported efforts in Europe, and now they feel it's time to bring those success stories to North America. It was Peter Gray who said, 
You must raise little Olympic athletes. They must have the size, the muscle texture, and the survival of the fittest instincts that will enable them to swim to Greenland and then come back to reproduce in your river. These little athletes start here in the East Machias Aquatic Research Center as the Down East Salmon Federation aspires to bring back the king of fish to Down East Maine and the United States.